no reaction. That's so cool. So the wheel design, as you can see, it's really different than most wheels because they're all at a diagonal angle. I'm not sure if I could show this or not. Yeah, you can show okay. this, yeah. This insane, insane design that makes these wheels actually work a lot better. So we turned up the speed on the Rover. You can see now it's just going really quick. Do you have a, a name for it yet? Oh yeah, the Guru Cine Rover. Guru Cine? Cine, Cine like cinema. Cine. Cine Rover. Cinema. So for people interested to pre-order this, as I'm sure there are going to be many, That's right. where, where can they find out info about this? GimbalGuru.com. It's called the Guru Cine Rover. And uh, you can pre-order it. And uh, it starts at $6,000. And uh, let's see what else. What's the estimated release date? Estimated release date, maybe three to six months right now. That's pretty good. Three. Three. This thing is just too cool. This just is like mind blowing to me because I remember like thinking like somebody's going to do this and they're going to do it good and the price is going to be right. Oh, and literally I know it's going to be my good friend oh, here. Oh, hey, no problem, man. Come down to LA and... I'll be, oh, you've been for VRLA? VRLA, yeah. Just fast the speed it can move at. It actually really is more designed to creep and crawl. The side wheels though are really Ooh. such a nice functionality of it. Yeah. The higher speed introduces a little bit more wobble, but here, let's kick it out. You build this? What's really neat about those, what you picked out right away, is that these wheels are designed in a certain way where they can go over a structure that normally it would have lots of issues on. Here, I'm gonna go surprise Ryan with this. Let's go sneak up on him. How you been? Did you build this sucker? He built this sucker. Oh my goodness, he, look at that. This, Am I on YouTube? You're gonna be on YouTube. This oh, should yeah. be around 6000 Damn, it's pretty cool. I like how they can scrape side to side. That's pretty cool. Should be out in the next three to six. And it's also going to be adjustable to go with the height. But yeah, the real genius part is the wheels, I think. I think it is so cool. I've seen four clubs like that. You want to play with it? It's right there. All right. I'm going to break something, dude. Don't break it. This um, like it's, it's our only unicorn. You, we don't have it in the high speed mode, but honestly, I don't think you need fast. It's pretty cool. The fact it can do like the sideways moves too, yeah. although sideways obviously you want to try and go this way, that way, but it's more if you need to go uh, diagonal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, what do you say? Does it have the, the subversive? Uh, I think for smooth surfaces, this thing is pretty dope. Yeah, I think this might even be smoother than the Mantis for smooth, you know, for smooth surfaces, especially considering the wheels. You're hearing that from the expert here. I don't know. Uh, I have I'm to see Dolly. it on concrete. The last time we were hanging out using so, SF, uh, rolling with the Mantis, and you're telling me stories about, oh, we started to go downhill with it, and we had to run after it and stuff. Yeah, it used to, you get it going downhill, you uh, you better have somebody at the bottom to catch it. So this, Definitely camera side heavy. Sets more weight. Shout out to Hugh, gotta shout out his channel. He had this specific screw we needed to connect these parts, otherwise we would have had to wait 15 more minutes. He's a screwy guy. <laughs> It works. What? I technically wouldn't recommend overloading your Toyota Tracel, but oh you know. Oh my god. Look at this thing right here. Oh yeah. I, I thought it would work. I said, let's bring it over and see. And if you will it, it can happen. How many lenses are in the Samsung? 17, one up, and eight stereo pairs around. And it retails for? 10,500, unless you buy it today, you, you get a 10. I was gonna say, you added 500 since last time I talked to you. <laughs> Only for you. <laughs> uh, there you go. This device, by the way, is going to be hitting the market in the next three to six months. It should be around the price range, around $6,000. It's about a third of the price of the other competitor's rig, which we're not even going to mention the name of. Really not. Hey, how you doing? How are we on? Good. You just missed our uh, raffle. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the next video. I didn't say subscribe, did I? Yeah, you want to join it? Come up here. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Please subscribe. <laughs> check out the next video. Yeah, check out. Don't you work for Kodak? What are you doing holding this uh, Insta360 here? <laughs> is that what this is? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs>